this random news again from UK Gossip TV about a couple called Molly May and Tommy Fury. I'm assuming that is, yeah, that is Tommy Fury, are victims of an 800k burglary after experienced gang targeted a Manchester flat whilst they were partied. And the only reason why I brought this up because I think in some of the comments, someone said here, like, I'm not going to give these people. Yeah, I'm not going to have people in these comments blaming them for this. If you work hard, you're not going to make you're going to want to flex it too. That doesn't mean someone has to a right to rob you, babes, as long as they're safe. This is so sad. Again, I don't get this sympathy people have for people they don't know. I don't get this empathy people have for people they don't know. You know, people kind of celebrating and getting high and happy of the fact that Kourtney Kardashian is engaged or was it Chloe? Whatever, which one it was. It's like, I don't, I don't understand this, but I guess it's a woman thing. And also when it comes to people like this, influencers, celebrities being robbed of their expensive items whilst they party in another city. I don't have any sympathy either because part of the reason why this happens is because number one, you're flaunting too much stuff on social media, which again is a kind of um is a vicious cycle, right? Because in order for them to be successful on social, they have to kind of show off their lifestyle. And that showing off all their lifestyle and their wealth and their kind of one percenter life and you know the fact that they are kind of privileged in the opportunity to be able to make the money that they're making and live the life that they're living and for whatever reason society has this infatuation with just watching people who are way wealthier than they are enjoy things that they'll probably never be able to attain but regardless that content you need to keep it fresh you need to keep showing people things but then obviously there are people out there that have bad intentions who are also looking at that same content and plotting on your downfall so the re the, the 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 need or the drive to keep putting out that content is actually putting you in danger but of course there is an other option where you can live a life where you just you know you're an influencer you do your thing but you're quite private about the things that you have or where you live or the layout of your building or your flat whatever there are certain things that you just don't reveal and that could also be great but people don't want to do that because once you get into the loop of sharing stuff and you see the algorithm go up you see the views go up you can't help but show other things oh here's my new cat here's my new dog here's my new car here's my new so that and it just becomes a vicious cycle until now you're in a point where people can basically trace your every steps based on your instagram stories and that's something that i've kind of learned from people like joe rogan and stuff about the need to be somewhat private in some of the things that you have in your life especially if you live a really public especially if you have a very um especially if you have a very public persona is that word? whatever that thing is right because like myself like i'm on all social media platforms and stuff but there are other parts of my life that i keep completely private and not on social whatsoever and i think that's really important and one thing that's always been important to me is the kind of instagram stories thing of just not having it be a play-by-play -play of all stuff that you're doing and it's just a little habit i used to always do again i'm, I'm a nobody i've only got like 2000 you know 2500 odd followers or something i'm a no one on instagram but everything I upload on there is usually done a couple of hours, maybe even a day later than when it actually happened. It's never done in real time. So I might take some pictures along the way. And then after I've gone back to my hotel, I've gone back home, wherever I'm at, then I start uploading stuff. But I'm not uploading it in real time so you can trace and figure out where I am. Whereas these guys most likely have been doing such a thing, talking on their vlogs about um, going to Manchester. What, what did they say? What target did Manchester? Yeah, talking about going to, go, going down to London, right? They live in Manchester um, on their vlogs, in an interview or something. And all it took was a bit of sense to figure out where they're going to go. Maybe it's a branded event. Maybe been marketed somewhere and then just kind of plan your burglary and imagine they probably did the burglary in calm fashion didn't take too long or maybe did to wherever in in a relaxed fashion knowing that they're not going to be back anytime soon right and that again is kind of their own fault which is why i don't really have much sympathy for it whatsoever um let's go to what's the next page there the smile through the storm yeah i guess so um molly mayhew oh, hugh is he saying there? molly mayhew tommy fury were victims of a terrifying breaking at their manchester flat with burgers reporting to getting away with 800k worth of stuff terrifying really you weren't even there like come on relax um according to reports an experienced gang targeted their home of course um the couple on the evening of october 21st when they were away in london celebrating molly may's new beauty works collaboration launch cool which was advertised everywhere probably did the live stream something so again only yourself to blame um they will never return back to their apartment again unfortunately they feel as if they've been targeted and don't feel safe there anymore of course that's the side of home burglaries that's a bit out of order but again they have the means to get another flat it won't be too difficult i'm sure they'll be okay um Da, 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 da. an insider's claim that says there seems to be an experienced gang who know um, what they're doing as they have uh, had the machinery and waiting for Molly May to be away 
But duh, um, the gang are thought to be smashed through the windows and doors to gain access to the flat and store approximately 800k worth of belongings, leaving the couple with nothing other than what was already in their suitcase for the event. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but is that is absolutely hilarious. Like, you go from having loads of, you you go from having loads of um, loads of stuff, right? Loads of probably stuff you don't need. Um, stuff that's given to you free, stuff that you bought, stuff that you're thinking about selling, stuff that you think about giving away, whatever, you just got stuff in your house. And then you come back and you've got nothing but your stuff in your suitcase. That must be a bit of a mind, a bit of a mind fuck, isn't it? And Molly's doing well considering the circumstances being very stressing time, but she's trying to be positive as possible. A rep from Pretty Little Thing Creator Dr. Todd, of course, because she uploaded a picture of herself, you know, get get the likes, you know, capitalize on the on the drama. You know, you got you you, you gotta keep performing. And again, this is the odd life that influencers live unfortunately especially influences of this kind of ilk you're you're continually having to court you're continually having to court attention you're continually having to go me 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 it must be exhausting again this is why i give a lot of props to people like herself people like the kim kardashians and shit it's not easy to consi consistently keep getting up put your makeup on take pictures of yourself outfits all this sort of stuff arrange photo shoots and consistently put yourself in front of people because you're going to have to keep making up fresh new ways to make that thing exciting make that thing interesting whatever it may be and even when you're going through a distressing time and people have all their attention on you like again i don't know much about the girl i don't know much about tommy free apart from he boxes and he's a brother of Tyson Fury or I don't know is he a brother is he one of the brothers I think so well they share a, 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 a surname but you have to also capitalize on this attention because people like myself are now paying attention to you which I don't know who you are so that kind of helps to kind of further your brand it kind of helps to kind of get more exposure on you all these sort of things are things that are sort of running through your head so it must be a weird profession to be in where you kind of have to use your pain in order to kind of, it's kind of like a um, it's not it's to a lesser extent it's sort of similar to what happened with that girl that went viral the other day who took a picture on uh, in front of a casket of her dad that just passed away it's like in their heads if you're an influencer that makes complete sense because this is a distressing time i'm going through if you guys see me smiling and happy it's also important to see me when i'm sad and um, my dad just died here's a picture of me standing in front of it with a cool outfit on it's like obviously if you're sensible you're like that's fucked up but in the influencer's head all attention is good attention so again easy way to stop this sort of thing is to not share so much but will they do that obviously not because they want the attention they want people to keep looking at them and again it's a perfectly avoidable thing if you're private and you keep yourself to yourself for the most part this doesn't happen to you but when you kind of again document your every move especially on the stories um especially with your youtube especially with your instagram especially with your interviews you say every detail wherever you're going you give dates and shit it's just you're just opening yourself up for these sort of things and especially nowadays where people you know for the most part burglaries i guess were maybe somewhat down because people were in lockdown and whatnot so if you want to rob these people who are of high value high net worth um well-known people you kind of have to hope that they're away from the country especially with their alarm systems in place you don't want them to be alert with a phone call and then they're around the corner at a restaurant somewhere and then they come and flipping you know like flipping what's his name is it bugsy malone they come and flipping break your jaw and shit you don't want that to happen so you want to make sure that as far away as possible from the flat where else you're going to go do the thing so again distressing for them i guess but all in all you know you can't really be too you know sad about the whole thing i don't think but you know maybe i'm just me maybe it's just me 